Okay. So the last one, and um, they are asking, was the unit of analysis clearly stated in all conversions? Why this asking? And they are asking this so that they know you use repeated measures analysis when the unit of analysis are repeatedly measured. Okay. So the, this last question are linking to repeated versus non-repeat analysis. Okay. <clears throat> so. Uh, so let's say if you repeat experiments four times in each mice, you have a four mice, okay. and then you take this. Uh, re these are repeated four times in each mice, and if the unit of observation of are this, okay, your data clearly have a repeated data. But if your analysis is a linear regression, the model doesn't consider repeat. Then we know the p-value derivation is wrong. Right? So that's why I'm asking, what is the unit of your data? And are you using a repeatedly measured data? And then you have to use the proper analysis for that. Okay? And so uh, instead of t-test, and you might use a pair of t-test. And instead of a linear regression, you might use a mixed effect model or GEE. So the, there are regressions considered those repeat. And why repeated measures analysis are important? Okay, so just one minute, I promise you. So uh, these are examples, and I collected data from uh, two patients and on CRP level. And I measure CRP level every day. Okay, and I wanted to see whether the use of catheter is leading to increasing of CRP. So only two days, two patients. Okay, so two days, and they use a catheter. And other day, they didn't use the catheter, right? Now, unfortunately, I forgot to collect patient ID. So I don't know which observation are coming from which patient. Can we analyze this data? We know two patients, and observations are repeated daily, and catheter versus non-catheter. Can we analyze? This is what linear regression does. Linear regression, there is no way you can tell the computer what is the ID. So if you go ahead to use a linear regression, you are analyzing data without knowing whose CRP belongs to which patients. Okay, so let's say the, um, this CRP belongs to two patients, and now I know I recover the ID. So I exactly know which values are coming from which patient. So when you see the data like this, do you think catheter is increasing inflammation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and how about this? <laughs> it's exactly the same observations, right? I just connect the different dots. So if you don't ID, data could be like this or could be like this, right? right? So if you compute the p-value, and then this show the p-value is 0 0.000001, but if you compute the p-value with this, then p-value is 0 0.113. So, uh, so that's why so, uh, using a proper analysis is important. If the data are repeatedly measured, you want to analyze data this way. You want to analyze data this way, right? So that's the impact on p-value, right? So that's everything, and um, 